Hey, what's going on guys? This is Andrew Chicken and welcome back to another video. Today, I want to briefly talk about something that you should never, ever do in Paladin's Champions of the Realm. Creepers actually made a PSA about this a few months ago, and after that PSA, I still see plenty of people doing this, and it makes me really irritated because it's just, it's making Makoa stronger and stronger. It has to do with Makoa and his half-shell talent, but more specifically, uh, Barrier Reef, the card Barrier Reef. So, uh, let's see, we'll swap loadout real quick. Half shell, and then let's go for a typical half shell build. Let's go for a half shell regular. So you have Carapace 5, increase the health of Shell Shield by 1000. You have Barrier Reef 5, reduce the cooldown of Shell Shield by 1 second for every 500 damage absorbed. This is a card that people still seem to ignore for whatever reason, and it is really strong if you just shoot the shield over and over again. Because what this does is whenever you shoot the shield, say you're Androxus, you shoot the shield once. That's a second off the cooldown. Say you're Willow, you shoot the shield once. That's a second off the cooldown. You're Strix, you shoot it once. That's two seconds off the cooldown. And people will just keep shooting the shield, and then they destroy it, and then, oh wow, magically Makoa has another one. So let me uh, let me just demonstrate this real quick. Let's go over here. I have no Kronos right now, but if we just summon these Cassies, put up the shield, and watch it get destroyed. Boom, health's gone. Four second cooldown on the shield. The same as Aegis, pretty much, uh, if you go the right Aegis build. And if we buy Kronos real quick, Kronos 1, 2, and 3, we can go ahead and put that up. And once it goes down, oh look at that, instant reset. We have another shield. Down, instant reset, we have another shield. And Makoa can just keep spamming this out, and as long as you destroy the shield, he's going to get another one back. He's going to be effectively invincible. You have like half a second to shoot him between shields going up and down, if you keep destroying the shield. So do not... Under any circumstances, shoot the shield. Unless Mako is like the only one alive, and even still, like just go inside the shield and fight him then at that point with your team. Just gang up on him and kill him. Or force him out of the shield. You know, use knockback to get him out of there or something like that. Do not destroy the shield. It's just don't. Please, don't. Stop. And I, I see people even buying Wrecker to destroy Makoa's shield. Which just is mind-boggling to me, because this card, Barrier Reef, exists. And it synergizes with, uh, what's it called? Uh, Carapace, I think, really well. Yeah, Carapace. Because this gives you an additional 1,000 health, which means you can get two more procs of your Barrier Reef. So if you're completely destroying the shield, and he's, they're going Carapace and Barrier Reef, you're just going to give him another shield back. And even if he's going, like, Pluck or something, I've still seen the occasional Makoa player run Barrier Reef with, you know, Pluck or Leviathan, which uh, uh, means he can't really destroy that shield either, even though, you know, he's not going Half Shell. So it's not just exclusive to Half Shell, but it most of the time applies to Half Shell because that's when most Makoa players use Barrier Reef. So don't shoot the shield, please. To all the people who think you can destroy Makoa's shield, don't. It's not Fernando's shield. It's not Barrack's shield. This shield has cooldown reset when you shoot it. So do not shoot this. It's like shooting a Terminus Power Siphon. You know, you shoot the Power Siphon, and then all of a sudden he gets more start, more charges, which then if he's running a proper loadout, he can shoot back at you to get more Power Siphon charge. Alright? So treat this like you would a Terminus Siphon. Do not shoot it. Don't. No. Don't. Because watch what happens. Um, so, yeah, that didn't get destroyed. I have Chronos 3, so it had a 5 second cooldown. But if I just pop this out here... Wait out the duration. Oh, look, I'm a Koa. I'm shooting at people. Hey, look at me. Oh, no, no one's shooting my shield. Now, all of a sudden, I'm vulnerable on point with a 10-second cooldown. So if you just wait and let the shield run its course, don't shoot it. If you accidentally shoot it, like, once or twice, that's fine. It's still going to be, like, an 8-second cooldown. It has a 10-second cooldown where Makoa is vulnerable on point, vulnerable to headshots. This guy can come up here and start shooting me. And you can easily kill him then. And he's either going to have to run behind cover and give you access to the point, or he's just going to fight, sand his ground, and most likely die. So, yeah, there is literally no benefit to shooting the shield, other than if you want to be nice, your friends on the enemy team playing Makoa, and you want to give them the 150k shielding challenge. That's like the only reason you would shoot it. And even still, you're going to lose the game if you do that, most likely. So just don't. Just don't shoot it. <laughs> that's all That's all I need to do. And there's also um, a few other champions, well, namely one champion, Barrack. So let's go ahead and switch to Barrack real quick, because Barrack has a card which is similar to this. I don't see it run as often, but it is still a thing. So uh, let's go, I guess, just typical fortify or something. Yeah, one man scrap. When a turret is destroyed, reduce your active cooldowns by 30%. So if we just walk on over to the Cassies over here again, and go ahead and I guess, here we go, we'll use mobility. We'll go ahead and put down a turret. And oh, look at that. Oh, suddenly my cooldowns are shorter. It's not as cancerous as Makoa's, but it does give Barrack, you know, a lot of extra 
uh, basically put on spam. So look at that. We got another turret. And if we actually go Architectonics, I think it'll be even more effective. Uh, if we just go ahead and swap, go to Architectonics, grab this again. I don't think I have it in my Architectonics build because I'm a dummy. But yeah, we put that down with a shorter cooldown, and look at that. And if we get Kronos on top of that, I mean, it just gets ridiculous. Put down the turret, put down the shield. Oh, look at that. Freaking three second cooldown, there's another turret. Let me go ahead and just dash like that real quick. There we go. Place down another turret. And then we can get another dash. It's a little bit ridiculous. So yeah, that's another thing you don't shoot. And for those of you who are especially, especially new to the game, then, yeah, don't don't feed Androxus or Terminus Power Siphon either. So yeah, let me just show Androxus reversal real quick. Don't feed this. Uh, let's go, I guess, Curse Revolver, just regular thing. Go over here. So reversal, by default, yeah, doesn't shoot any projectiles. It's only when you actually shoot at the reversal that it'll shoot a projectile. So he basically deflects all your damage back at you in a single burst. So check this out. We spawn the Cassies again. Two, one, reversal, and that's what happens if you feed it. A thousand damage returned, and I can just do that, and you're dead. So don't feed that, and of course the Terminus Siphon. I better show that off too, just so we can get the full collection of things you're not supposed to shoot. Um, besides Zin, too. Zin has another one, too. There's a lot of things you don't shoot, but the Makoa one is the most annoying one to me, because that's the one I still see people speeding like crazy to this day. So let's grab a Calamity Blast build. Let's grab that, I guess. Abomination. Sure, why not? Actually, wait, no. Let me, let me switch. Let me switch. Let's go this one. There we go. So yeah, Terminus. Power Siphon's on a resource bar. It'll drain resources the longer it's up, but you can't destroy it, so there's no sense in shooting it. And when you do shoot it, she gives me Power Siphon charges. I can shoot those right back at her, and look at how fast my resource bar goes up. This is when it goes up normally. If I shoot, look at that. Big increase. And that's because I'm running the card um, Abomination. And if we pump that up to level 5, uh, let's go ahead and turn that down a little bit, I guess. It gets really, really good deals. So boom, boom, protecting our Fernando. And look at that, it's back up to full HP. It's literally an infinite siphon if you're feeding a power siphon charge. So don't shoot that. And finally, don't shoot Zin when he's doing his counter. Please stop. Especially if he's going a build like this. Counter. Viciousness 5. Reduce the cooldown of counter by 75% after successfully hitting an enemy with counter. If a Zin is going a build like this and you feed the counters, he's going to be really hard to kill. So check this out. You shoot the counter, boom. And I have a two second cooldown. Shoot the count. Oh, okay, Cassie, fine. You have to reload. Let me get Kronos just to demonstrate this even further to its highest effectiveness. Boom. One. Boom. One. Good luck killing that. <laughs> Good luck killing that. And it does 600 damage too if he hits the counter back at you. So, yeah, if you're an especially new player, these last three were mainly for you. Terminus and Droxus is in. Do not shoot them when they do those abilities. Do not shoot Zin when he does that. Because, well, I mean, unless you're reloading. Like, that's a perfect time to reload, actually. If you're in a fight with Zin and he counters, just reload your weapon. It's a great time to do that. But yeah, don't shoot the counter. It'll deflect in your face. And if he's going to build like this, then it's going to be just e up every second, pretty much. Don't shoot Power Siphon, he'll get more Power Siphon, and he'll be really hard to kill, and he'll be able to get tons of shielding for his teammates. Don't shoot Reversal, because it'll explode in your face for a big burst of damage, depending on how much you fed it. Don't feed Makoa Half Shell. Please, just stop. <laughs> uh, that's not how you counter Half Shell, so... Yeah, just counter Half Shell by not shooting it, let the cooldown wear down, and then Makoa's vulnerable for 10 seconds. Or even higher if he doesn't have all his Kronos yet. So that's the PSA for today. I know Creeper's already made a PSA like this, but people are still feeding it. So I figure, let's repeat the message on my channel. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed this video and you found this video to be helpful, then consider leaving a like. Also subscribe and join my Discord server linked in the description to pick up tips, leave suggestions, and become a part of our active community. Also, huge, huge shout out to the members of the channel for helping to make everything possible. I really appreciate all your support. And if you want to become a member today, then just click the join button right next to the subscribe button. Anyways, I will see you all next time. Peace out.